As reporters descended upon the story, they found something surprising. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 disappearances that can't be explained. But 10 persons, the captain, his family and crew, had vanished without trace. For this list, we'll be looking at unsolved cases about people who have vanished under mysterious or downright inconceivable circumstances. Which of these theories do you believe? Make sure to sound off in the comments below. Number 10. Frederick Valentich Frederick Valentich's disappearance on October 21, 1978, over Bass Strait, Australia, isn't easy to explain. The 20-year-old pilot was flying at 4,500 feet when he reported seeing an unidentified aircraft flying near him. Melbourne, this is Delta Sierra Juliet. That aircraft's just passed over me at least a thousand feet above. He stated that it seemed to be playing a game with him, and in his last transmission, claimed that it was hovering over him, and that it wasn't an aircraft at all. The pilot and his plane were never found. Perhaps the secret of Frederick Valenti does lie many fathoms beneath Bass Strait, or perhaps it lies far from our planet, light years beyond our understanding. UFOologists proposed that aliens had abducted him, while a 2013 review suggested he mistook planets and the star Antares for an aircraft, perceived the horizon as tilted due to the sunset, and put his plane into a graveyard spiral. We may never know for sure. No trace of Fred or his plane was ever found. Number 9. The crew and passengers of the MV Hoyita Five weeks after it was reported missing in October 1955, the American merchant vessel MV Hoyita was found deserted and drifting in the South Pacific. The life rafts were all missing. The ship had carried 16 crew members and 9 passengers for an anticipated 48-hour trip. While there was some damage to the boat, as well as broken glass and bloody bandages, it wasn't enough to require the passengers to abandon ship. Why would they have left a ship in working order, and without enough life jackets for all on board? Most theories focus on the idea that the captain was injured through an accident or even mutiny, leaving others to make a dubious decision. The ghost ship Joita, her disappearance and subsequent events continue to disturb and baffle. Number 8. Rebecca Corium Cruise ship disappearances aren't unheard of, but the circumstances around this one make it especially confounding. 24-year-old Rebecca Corium worked as part of the youth activities team on the cruise ship Disney Wonder, which at the time was sailing off the Pacific coast of Mexico. On CCTV footage, Corium was seen looking upset while talking on the phone in the early morning hours of March 22, 2011. A few hours later, crew were alerted to her disappearance when she didn't show up for work. The ship set sail from Los Angeles on Sunday, March the 22nd for the Mexican Riviera. The alarm was raised last Tuesday when she failed to turn up for her shift. The following day, the vessel docked in Puerto Vallarta, the Mexican Navy and US Coast Guard were deployed to search the seas. The Coast Guard searched the waters, but nothing was found. There's speculation that she might have jumped or slipped overboard, and the insinuation that Disney knows more than it let on. I just don't know what happened to her, do we? That's the worst. But the evidence made public is inconclusive. A very, very little information comes back to us as to what the investigations found out. And that's the frustrating side that we face really and that's partially because of the problems of where the ship was registered. Number 7. Legio 9 Hispana The unsolved disappearance of even one person can be mystifying, but in this case, thousands of men disappeared. Legio 9 Hispana, or the 9th Spanish Legion, was an experienced legion of the Imperial Roman Army made up of roughly 5,000 men. This 9th Legion almost certainly came to Britain in at least one of Caesar's two incursions to Britain in 55 and 54 BC. And this same 9th Legion then participates in his later campaigns, fighting Pompeii in the Balkans, Macedonia in Greece, the Battle of Pharsalus, and then in North Africa and then in Spain. It's an elite legion. Records show the Legion in Britain, but their activities after around 120 CE are unknown. 
Historians have speculated that they may have been annihilated in a war with the Brigantes, a Celtic tribe in northern Britain, or else they may have been redeployed to a base in the Netherlands and perished in a later conflict, such as the Bar Kokhba revolt in Judea. However, historians have yet to agree on what really happened. Number 6. Flight 19 What started as a routine training mission for five naval planes in December 1945 turned into disaster and fueled theories about the Bermuda Triangle. Their disappearance became the linchpin of a modern legend of the supernatural. Partway through the exercise, lead pilot Lieutenant Charles Taylor became disoriented after departing from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Taylor said that his compasses were malfunctioning and he no longer knew their location. After failed attempts to find their way, they started to run out of fuel, and Taylor indicated that they may have to land in the ocean. Taylor, who was the flight lead, was talking about the compass didn't look right. He started to get confused. Don't they know they have to get back? Taylor thought that they needed to fly to the northeast because he thought they were over the Florida Keys. When search planes were dispatched to search for the missing men, one of them also vanished. Witness accounts indicate that this plane exploded mid-air, but debris from the search plane and the original five aircrafts have never been found. Over the last 60 years, this mystery has sustained the wildest theories about what strange forces could be at work out here. Number 5. Maura Murray on February 9, 2004, 21-year-old nursing student Maura Murray crashed her car into a tree on Route 112 near Woodsville, New Hampshire. It is a real mystery. One minute she's here, one minute she's not, and there's just so many theories. By the time police arrived, Murray was gone and was never seen again. Murray had been acting oddly prior to her disappearance. There was no injury, so they searched on foot and in vehicles. Basically, what they were looking for was A, a person walking, or B, footprints in the snow. They found none. She'd crashed her dad's car a few days before, lied to her supervisor about a death in the family, saying that she'd be out of town for a while, and packed up her belongings in her dorm. Before leaving, she'd looked up directions to Vermont, but no one knows why she'd be going there or if it's connected to her disappearance. All I have left is uh, the public, because I'm not getting any help anywhere else. I'm asking for help for my daughter. Number four, the lost colony of Roanoke. It's the oldest missing persons case in America. And yet today, there are more people dedicated to solving it than ever before. Led by explorer and painter John White, over 100 English colonists established a settlement on Roanoke Island in 1587. A previous attempt had failed due to lack of supplies and conflict with the indigenous population. In 1588, White left his family and the settlement to get supplies from England, but his return was delayed for two years due to the Anglo-Spanish War. When he finally came back, he found everyone gone. The only evidence of life were some footprints of bare feet in the sand. It was not a good omen. The only clue was a word etched onto a wooden post, Croatoan, the name of a nearby island and of a local tribe. Due to poor weather, however, the heartbroken white had to abandon the search. Some believe the colonists were killed, others that they were assimilated into Native American communities, but no one knows for sure. So this brings up the whole notion of the Native Americans and the relationship that they had with them. Um, was it contentious? Was it good? What do we know about that? Not a very good relationship. They're finding that they're not welcome here. Number three, First Lieutenant Felix Monkler and Second Lieutenant Robert Wilson. After a 30-minute chase at speeds of 500 miles per hour, pilot First Lieutenant Felix Monkler, Second Lieutenant Robert Wilson, and their aircraft disappeared and were never seen again. On November 23, 1953, a F-89C Scorpion jet was scrambled to investigate an unidentified object over Lake Superior in restricted airspace. They chased the unknown aircraft as it frequently changed course until the radar blip of the Scorpion jet converged with the blip of the unidentified object at approximately 8,000 feet over Michigan. Right after this, the aircraft vanished from radar altogether, followed shortly after by the unidentified object. Extensive searches were conducted by both US and Canadian forces 
but no evidence of the scorpion or its occupants were ever found. Could the scorpion's disappearance represent evidence of UFO involvement? The day after the incident, Ground Control released a statement which asserts the jet was followed by radar until it merged with an unknown object. Number two, the crew of the Mary Celeste. The Mary Celeste, an American registered brigantine, was found 400 miles east of the Azores. In early December 5th, 1872, a passing vessel found the brigantine merchant ship Mary Celeste abandoned in the Atlantic Ocean 400 miles east of the Azores. The ship had set out on a voyage from New York to Genoa, Italy on November 7th of the same year with 11 people on board, including the captain, Benjamin Briggs, his wife and their daughter. The Mary Celeste took her secrets to a watery grave. In her wake, speculation, wild guesses, and many theories were proposed, none fitting all the facts or provable by any means. When the Mary Celeste was found, the lifeboat was gone, but the ship was undamaged and still had six months' worth of food and water. The men found working charts, but not the ship's papers, nor her navigational instruments or maps. Otherwise, personal effects did not seem to be disturbed. Without any evidence about why the occupants may have left, and no sighting of any of the passengers since, the disappearance of 11 people from a well-stocked and seaworthy ship has left us with over a century of questions. But the riddle of that ill-fated voyage in 1872 will haunt us forever. The mystery of the Mary Celeste will live on. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Amelia Earhart The magnificent thing about Amelia is that in the eyes of the world, she never died. Her fear never witnessed, her failure never recorded. Famous as the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean solo, Amelia Earhart set out to complete another amazing feat by circumnavigating the globe in 1937. During this attempt, Earhart, along with her navigator, Fred Noonan, vanished. This grainy film records the last time Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan are ever seen alive. After completing a majority of their mission, they left New Guinea on July 2nd, 1937. Due to radio transmission issues, Earhart was unable to locate her next planned stop, Howland Island, and ran out of fuel. Eventually, Earhart's radio transmissions ceased and a search began. She and Noonan were never found. Did they crash and sink into the sea? Survive for a time on a nearby Gardner Island? Her final fate? remains a mystery. Not a trace of wreckage was found floating. There was no mayday call. There was no distress call. For 70 years, investigators have been trying to solve the Earhart enigma. 